Hey, this is Mo from Imright Trading. I, uh, the date is January 8th, 2025, Wednesday. I'm putting this video together um, in order to show how to create a stock screener to find stocks that will jump a lot in one day. So they'll, they'll rocket, they'll moon in one day. This is based off of a post I saw on Reddit uh, awesome post by 1215 day trading uh, that I saw yesterday uh, so if you get a chance go by and check that post out it describes in detail uh, what you need to look for um, let's see it it <clears throat> you know you want something in pre-market that takes a big jump and then kind of levels off so it starts to consolidate with um, without a lot of volatility um, and then you use resistance and support uh, that's defined by that level of um, consolidation. And then you can define your price targets and your risk and reward based on, on that zone. So the question came up, well, how do you find these stocks? And so I made a stock screener that allows me to do that uh, using the TradingView uh, screener stock screener so tradingview.com slash screener and you can find it and what i did was listed everything that had a market cap from zero to two billion an average volume of 90 days or where the pre-market volume is greater than the average volume over the 90 days over the past 90 days in an atr of zero percent to 20 percent uh, which means that the price uh, typically moves between 0 to 20% of the ATR. Let's see. Yeah. So how do you actually set that up? Because this is what you get when you first start. You have the stock screener and a bunch of these options here. And the ones that we want don't necessarily show up here. So, for example, market cap, that's an easy one. That's already there. Market cap 0 to... oh it's not there so you don't see zero to two billion which is what the the original poster on reddit specified so i'm going to go to manual setup zero to two billion you gotta spell it all out two one two three one two three one two three there we go there so that's market cap of zero to two billion average volume over the past 90 days less than the pre-market volume so you want a high pre-market volume and again, there is nothing here. So what we're going to do is uh, add this new, uh, add, click this plus button to add a new filter. Type in volume, and so I want to have average volume. Actually, I could probably do either one of these. Let me see, pre-market volume, and then we do manual setup. Pre-market volume is above average volume over the last 90 days okay i think i did it the reverse where i had uh, average volume less than pre-market volume but either way so i'll apply that so now that's there and the last one atr zero percent to 20 percent basically it means it's not volatile in general um what the the poster said and Reddit was that you want something that's not volatile uh, after the big move up in pre-market, which is uh, not something that we can filter against in here. But if I pick something that's just not volatile in general, that'll give me a start. So let's do that one, which was again, ATR 0% to 20%. And we don't see ATR in here anywhere, so we'll have to add a new one. Hit the plus button. ATR, there's average true range percent. So now we'll have to edit that. 2% and above, none of these fit our criteria. We want, uh, let's see, zero to 20%. So 20% and below. So we'll do zero to 20, apply, and then we're done. Now all these other ones we don't really need, 
Uh, so all of them you can delete except for these first two. So I'm going to remove, remove, take all these out. Bye. That way I have a nice clean interface. And you want to do this in your trading view login so you can save it. Otherwise, you'll have to redo this every time you come to this page. So now I'm going to save this. I'll call it uh, One Day Rockets, or let's call it One Day Moonshots. Okay. Create that. Now that's done. So now everything in here fits that criteria. They had a market cap from zero to two billion. Pre-market volume was greater than the average volume over the last 90 days. And ATR is 0% to 20%, which means it's not, in general not a volatile stock. So now we can filter those, sort by descending. And that'll give you an idea of what happened today, which uh, stocks actually fit that criteria. Um, so one other thing you can do is look at this as a chart view so you can see what happened with the, some of these but in order to make the final decision what we'll have to do is look at the actual chart so the ones I looked at this morning because uh, some of these weren't on here this morning Let's go to Silo. This was on here this morning. And I want to actually go to the chart for Silo. See on Super Charts. All right, I got a whole bunch of my, let's get a clean, let's see, make, uh, say, create a new layout. Say one day moon shots. Save. All right, let's close that. Silo. Close this. All right, so I have it set up so I can see the pre market and post market. And you do that here. Let's see. Oh, I'm on one day. Or actually, no. See, yeah, yes, that's right. So you can see the session. I clicked this uh, little nut icon down here. Session. You don't want regular trading hours because you can't see the pre-market. You want extended trading hours. That way you can see pre-market. And you can see that as the uh, Reddit poster had mentioned, this took a really big jump up uh, pre-market, and then it kind of stabilized. A little bit, not a lot. Um, it would have been better if it had been a little bit less. But this jump was pretty big. And then you want to enter, you know, watch the beginning. If it starts to go up, uh, I actually should have made money on this one, but it took me too long to get into it. Uh, so I ended up getting in around here, uh, fiddling around with my broker. Uh, but as you can see, again, big jump. Uh, consolidation and then first thing in the morning if I'd have got in and this is uh, let's go to a five minute chart actually so looking at the five minute this is where it opened and it went from about 193 to 332 and that is 72%. So that was a pretty big jump. And then um, what I tend to do is once I, once I have my list developed, I can go in and create a new playlist, a uh, so watch list here. Watch list, I want to create a new list and then I can just start typing in the names of the, uh, or I'm sorry, first I have to name it, 
Let's say one day moon shot. Save. Now I can start adding the symbols I see here. So I see V V I R add that. A B S I add that. S A N A A R B E A C C D and so on. So now when I go back to my chart, if I wanted to look at each one of them, I'll go to one day moonshot, then I can go through each one. This one opened up a lot, but it kept going. So uh, it didn't uh, consolidate after the big move. So this would have been a no, no. This one dropped after the big move. This one had a big move in post market, which isn't what we need. No big move in pre market and whoa. Oh, wow. Okay, so this one had the big move, but this would have been a, a good candidate. And if we had, let's see. Got in it open on here. It looks like this one probably wouldn't have done very, very well, but that's it. So if you're looking to let's see, let's go back to the screeners. Tradingview.com screener. Go to my saved one day moonshots. So once you have that, you can go through and pick whatever it is you want to uh, follow for that day. Um, and that's it. That's how I, I build it or build my, uh, my screener. All right. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to add them to the comments. I'm going to post this up on Reddit. You can always go there to the, uh, the, the day trader. What was it? Day, day trading Reddit. Uh, channel and check it out there. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe.